root system whether it is differentiated into nodes and internodes means root system it is not differentiated into nodes and internodes so that means in root system in root system it is not differentiated into it is not differentiated into it is not differentiated into nodes and internodes it is not differentiated into nodes and internodes that means whether the stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes means yes the stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes but whereas the root system it is not differentiated into nodes and internodes that means in this root system whether axillary buds that is nothing but normal buds are present or absent in this normal buds they are absent in this normal buds they are absent what are called as normal buds normal buds that is nothing but axillary buds normal buds that is nothing but axillary buds that is nothing but which buds means terminal buds that is nothing but which buds am terminal buds that means in normal buds in root system is completely absent that means it does not shows axillary buds that means it does not shows terminal buds and can you tell me whether this root system whether it is growing positively phototropic or positively geotropic means it grows always positively geotropic it grows always positively geotropic what is meant by geo means soil tropic means movement the movement of root towards the soil that is nothing but positively geotropic can we call this one as negatively phototropic means yes it is called as negatively phototropic also it always it also grows negatively phototropic it also grows in the negatively phototropic that means root system always grows towards the soil that's why it is called as positively geotropic and as it is also called as negatively phototropic tell me all plants whether the roots whether they are growing positively geotropic and negatively phototropic means that is one of the wrong answer why because in plants namely known as rhizophora and avicennia in plants namely known as which plants those are nothing but rhizophora and avicennia rhizophora and avicennia so these plants that is nothing but rhizophora and avicennia these plants they shows nothing but uh, nematophores those those modification that is nothing but uh, nematophores that means in rhizophora and avicennia it shows root modification that is nothing but nematophores nematophores are also called as uh, respiratory roots nematophores are also called as respiratory roots are also called as breathing roots are also called as uh, breathing uh, roots are also called as which roots am uh, breathing roots uh, in this uh, rhizophora and avicennia it shows one root that is nothing but nematophores this nematophores whether they are growing positively geotropic or positively phototropic means it is always growing positively phototropic in this nematophores always grows positively phototropic positively phototropic and negatively geotropic and negatively which one here it is called as geotropic that means in all plants root always non always they are not growing towards the soil in some plants like rhizophora and avicennia they shows one root modification that is nothing but nematophores this nematophores are also called as respiratory roots are also called as breathing roots and this nematophores they are always growing towards positively phototropic and negatively geotropic negatively geotropic this is the another characteristic feature belongs to the root system belongs to root system and whereas here in this the apices of the root the apices the apices of the root apices of the root is covered or protected by apices of the root is covered or protected by covered or protected by a thimble like structure covered or protected by a thimble like 
स्ट्रक्चर नोन एज रूट कैप नेमली नोन एज रूट कैप सो रूट कैप इट ऑलवेज कवर्स द रूट एपेक्स ऑलवेज प्रोटेक्ट द रूट एपेक्स दट टाइप दट इट इज नथिंग बट रूट कैप and this root cap in this root cap whether it is loosely tied fixed loosely tied or whether it is tightly tied means whether it is undergoing regeneration once the root cap is removed yes it is undergoing regeneration if one time if this root cap is degenerated this root cap is degenerated again this root cap is again regenerated is that clear and whereas now we are going to how many types of root systems can be seen in plants in plants they are showing three types of root systems in plants they are showing how many types of root systems three types of root systems what are the three types of root systems one that is tap root system one it is nothing but which root system tap root system and the second one it is nothing but fibrous root system and the second one that is nothing but fibrous root system and the second one that is nothing but which root system means that it is nothing but fibrous root system and the third type of root system it is nothing but adventitious root system adventitious root system so altogether how many types of root systems can be seen means three types of root systems can be seen of that one type of root system itself it is nothing but tap root system and the second type of root system itself it is nothing but fibrous root system and the third type of root system itself it is nothing but adventitious root system now this tap root system can be seen either in dicots or in monocots means it can be seen in it can be seen in dicots the tap root system it can be seen in only dicots but whereas fibrous root system can be seen in monocots fibrous root system can be seen in only monocots but whereas adventitious root system whether it is seen in dicots or it can be seen in monocots means it can be seen in either that is nothing but it shows the fibrous roots is the adventitious root system it can be seen in dicots and as well as monocots that means this adventitious root system it can be seen in dicots and as well as monocots is that clear now we are going to discuss about this tap root system so from this tap root system the germinating seed this is nothing but uh, take take this one as example as a germinating seed germinating seed contains uh, embryonal axis this embryonal axis below which it shows radical and above the embryonal axis it shows plumule so from this radical which one is developing frame means from this radical primary root or tap root it is developing from this radical which root is developing means primary root or primary root or it is also called as tap root is developing from this primary root or tap root which roots are developing means that is nothing but secondary roots and tertiary roots are developing from this primary root or tap root which roots are developing means secondary roots and as well as secondary roots and as well as these are nothing but secondary roots or these are nothing but tertiary roots these are nothing but which roots amma tertiary roots that means from the primary root or tap root secondary roots and tertiary roots are they are originating can we call this uh, secondary roots and tertiary roots can we call them as uh, lateral roots means yes they are called as uh, lateral roots they are called as which roots am uh, lateral roots they are called as uh, lateral roots now here whether this lateral roots whether they are unicellular or multicellular this lateral roots they are always uh, unicellular this lateral roots they are always uh, unicellular that means whether it is a correct option means it is the wrong option that is nothing but uh, that is nothing but which one means uh, it is uh, multicellular that means here the lateral roots they are not unicellular which one is unicellular means the root hairs are unicellular whereas the lateral roots they are 
multicellular whether they are developing endogenously or exogenously they are developing endogenously they are developing which one amma endogenously why here it is called as endogenously why because here the roots they are originating from the inner side of the root they are originating from the pericycle cells of the pericycle that means they are originating from the cells of pericycle opposite to the protoxylum opposite to the protoxylum this means endogenous means they are developing from inner side of the inner side of the ts inner side of into the ts of monocot root and ts of dicot root from the inner side of ts of monocot root or ts of dicot root means from they are developing from which cells means they are developing from pericycle they are developing which from which cells means they are developing from pericycle that means they are developing from which cells of pericycle they are developing from the cells of pericycle opposite to the protoxylum vessels they are developing from the cells of pericycle cells of pericycle opposite to the opposite to the protoxylum vessels opposite to the protoxylum vessels so that's why it is called as endogenous one once again i am explaining here see here this lateral roots whether they are multicellular or unicellular that itself it is nothing but multicellular whether they are exogenous or endogenous they are nothing but endogenous that means they are developing from the inner side of the root they are developing from which cells of the root that are that means they are developing from the cells of the pericycle which cells of the pericycle means the cells of the pericycle which is exactly opposite to the protoxylum vessels and whereas from this this lateral roots they are arranged in which manner this lateral roots they are arranged in which manner means this lateral roots they are arranged in acropetal arrangement they are arranged in acropetal manner they are arranged in which manner means acropetal manner what is meant by acropetal manner of arrangement of lateral roots means these are nothing but the older lateral roots these are nothing but which roots here older lateral roots which are present towards the root base region now that means uh, it this region it is nothing but a root base and this region it is nothing but root apex region that means older lateral roots are present towards root base and whereas younger lateral roots are present towards root apex this type of arrangement itself it is nothing but uh, acropetal arrangement what is meant by acropetal arrangement older lateral roots are present towards root base and younger lateral roots are present towards root apex this type of arrangement itself it is nothing but acropetal arrangement or they are arranged in acropetal manner and from this lateral roots which roots are arising means from this lateral roots rootlets and root hairs are developing rootlets and which which one am root hairs are developing from this lateral roots which one are developing again means from this lateral roots rootlets and root hairs they are originating and this what is the function of the root hairs can you tell me root hair whether it is one of the root hair whether it is one of the unicellular structure or multicellular structure that means root hair it is one of the unicellular structure root hair it is one of the which structure it is called as unicellular structure that means uh, this root hair so whether they are developing exogenously or endogenously it is developing uh, exogenously it is developing which one am uh, exogenously can you tell me what is the difference between lateral roots and root hairs means uh, lateral roots are multicellular root hairs are unicellular lateral roots are developing endogenously root hairs are developing exogenously in which plants in mesophytes and as well as in xerophytes whether these are root hairs which one shows which one it is one of the ephemeral and which one it is one of the perennial 
that means root hairs in which plants they are ephemerals in which plants they are perennials in mesophytes they are in mesophytes they are in mesophytes uh, they are ephemerals in mesophytes they are ephemerals what is meant by ephemeral it shows shorter life span it shows shorter life period after that life period these root hairs they are undergoing degeneration and the new root hairs are developing but whereas in uh, but whereas these root hairs uh, in xerophytes root hairs in uh, xerophytes whether they are acting whether here they are also called as ephemerals or whether they are called as perennials so in this xerophytes they are called as perennials in the xerophytes they are called as which one namma perennial that means here the life span is more in xerophytes compared with root hairs when it is compared with root hairs when the root hairs when it is compared with mesophytes and xerophytes where it is called as ephemeral which one is called as perennial means root hairs are ephemerals in mesophytes root hairs are perennials in xerophytes can you tell me which water is observed by the root hair root hair always observe root hairs always observe capillary water mostly root hair observes which water means capillary water mostly root hair observes which water capillary water so this is and can you tell me which one is called as tap root system tap root system tap root system is equal to primary root is equal to primary root or it is also called as tap root plus lateral roots plus lateral roots which one are called as lateral roots means secondary roots and tertiary roots secondary roots and entomma tertiary roots plus rootlets uh, rootlets and uh, root hairs rootlets and root uh, hairs uh, now see listen here tap root system it indicates uh, it includes uh, primary root or tap root plus lateral roots none other than secondary roots or tertiary roots plus rootlets and uh, root hairs so altogether this type of system it is nothing but uh, tap root system altogether this type of root system itself it is nothing but a tap root system in this tap root system in this tap root system here this primary root or tap root that is nothing but which root amma tap root primary root or tap root in this tap root system primary root or tap root whether it is one of the ephemeral or perennial means it is one of the perennial it is one of the perennial in which plants in dicot plants in which plants means in dicot plants the primary root or tap root it is one of the perennial so this indicates uh, about the tap root system next goes to fibrous roots these fibrous roots are present in monocots these fibrous roots are present in monocots and in this fibrous root system for example think this one is the germinating seed of germinating seed of monocotyledons germinating seed of monocotyledons it contains a embryonal axis which contains radical and plumule think this one is the germinating seed of monocotyledons where the embryonal axis shows radical and as well as plumule in this fibrous root system which can be seen in monocots what happens means from the radical primary root is developing here from the radical which root is developing here primary root is developing here but whereas in the monocots whether this primary root whether it is one of the ephemeral or perennial means it is one of the ephemeral so this primary root it is one of the ephemeral so what is meant by ephemeral means where it shows shorter life span soon after 
formation it undergoes degeneration it undergoes degeneration so that's why here the primary root in monocot it is one of the ephemeral but whereas in dicots the primary root whether it is one of the ephemeral or perennial means it is one of the perennial only but whereas in monocots here the primary root as it is short lived so it is called as ephemeral and whereas after the degeneration of the radical or after the degeneration of the primary root what happens means from the base of the stem what happens am from the base of the stem a cluster of a cluster of numerous identical slender fibrous roots are developing so from the base of the stem which roots are developing means cluster cluster and slender cluster and slender identical cluster and slender identical fibrous roots are developing cluster and uh, cluster and slender and identical fibrous roots are developing from the base of the stem once again see here from the this is nothing but the monocot germinating seed where the embryo shows radical and plumule from the radical initially primary root is developing that primary root whether it is ephemeral or perennial that is nothing but ephemeral but whereas in dicots it is one of the perennial after the degeneration of the radical or after the degeneration of the primary root immediately a cluster of numerous slender identical fibrous roots are developing so that means uh, from this uh, from this each fibrous root uh, from this each fibrous roots uh, lateral roots are developing from each fibrous root lateral roots are developing from this lateral roots rootlets and root hairs are developing rootlets and root hairs are developing rootlets and root hairs are developing and which one is called as fibrous root system means the fibrous root system which shows it which shows which includes that is nothing but fibrous root that is nothing but fibrous roots that is nothing but fibrous roots plus lateral roots plus lateral roots plus rootlets and root hairs rootlets and root hairs all together it is called as a fibrous root system which one is called as fibrous root system means it is a combination of fibrous roots lateral roots rootlets and root hairs all together it is called as fibrous root system which can be seen in monocots once once again i am explaining listen carefully fibrous root system is present in monocots in monocots this is nothing but the germinating seed of monocotyledons you think like that from this it shows radical and plumule from the radical initially primary root is developing that primary root it is one of the ephemeral after the degeneration of the primary root from the base of the stem a cluster of slender numerous identical fibrous roots are developing from that fibrous roots lateral roots are developing from this lateral roots rootlets and root hairs are also developing this fibrous roots lateral roots and rootlets and root hairs completely called it as fibrous root system so we completed this fibrous root system now and now we are moving to adventitious root system adventitious root system tap root system is present in dicots fibrous root system is present in monocots adventitious root system is present in dicots and monocots also present in dicots are present in dicots and monocots also now what is meant by adventitious root system what is the definition of the adventitious root system that means uh, roots which are developing from any part of the plant other than from the radical that type of root system itself it is nothing but uh, 
adventitious root system. Once again, I am explaining what is meant by adventitious root system. A root system which develops from any part of the plant other than from the radical, that type of root system itself, it is nothing but adventitious root system. That means uh, this adventitious root system can be seen in which plants means uh, example one that is nothing but monstera, example one that is nothing but monstera, example two that is nothing but ficus bengalensis, ficus bengalensis. So in these two examples namely known as monstera and namely known as ficus bengalensis it shows uh, adventitious root system adventitious root system. What is meant by adventitious root system? Adventitious root system is a root system which develops from any part of the plant other than from the radical. That type of root system is nothing but adventitious root system which can be seen in dicots and monocots. What are the examples for this adventitious root system means initially in your test book they given here it has one it is monstera and another one it is ficus bengalensis, ficus bengalensis. So this is about the adventitious root system. One more thing here in assertion and reason, here assertion. All fibrous roots are called as adventitious roots. What I am saying here, all fibrous roots are called as all fibrous roots are called as are called as adventitious roots. What is the reason means? What is the reason means? All adventitious roots are not called as fibrous roots. All adventitious roots are not called as all adventitious roots are not called as not called as fibrous roots or not called as fibrous roots. In this assertion that is nothing but all fibrous roots are called as adventitious roots but whereas all reason that is nothing but all adventitious roots are not called as fibrous roots. Can you tell me which option is correct here? That is nothing but uh, First option is correct whether it is A and R are correct, R is correct explanation for A or A and R are correct, R is not correct explanation for A means that is nothing but the second option that is A is correct, R is correct, R is not correct explanation for R is not correct explanation for A. So this is about the assertion and reason what is that answer A is right. R is right, but R is not correct explanation for A. This we completes this adventitious root system.